as Barnett step out onto the field here this afternoon. It's time to run you through their starting lineup. First team coach Simon Bassey making his home debut here. And he's picked an unchanged side from the side that drew nil nil away at Maidenhead a week ago today. It's a 4 3 2 1. Eamon Azades keeps his place in between the sticks. Sam Beard makes his home debut at left back. The centre halves are Matt Preston and Liam Daly, the skipper, and Lee Vaughan are right back. Another home debut in midfield, Sam Skeffington on loan from Millwall. Themis Kefalas in that more advanced holding midfield role, and Harry Taylor just to the side of him. On the wings, Efron Mason Clark and Alexander McQueen, and leading the line once more, JJ Hooper. And we are finally underway here at the Hive London. It's back to Liam Daly, who looked to play it long first time to get it forward. Skeffington gets his first touch of the ball here at the Hive London. But it's picked up in midfield by Oldershot. He will play it across to Ogie. Chance for JJ Hooper to stretch his legs here, and he's got him behind the Oldershot defence, but he's got no support with him. Might have to go alone. JJ Hooper does go alone, but is comfortable for Walker in the shot's goal. But a chance there of maybe Barnett do you have the opportunity to get beyond the older shot defence here and play a bit of a counter-attacking football. Yeah, it was a good ball over the top uh, for JJ Hooper, who, who timed his run really well to peel off the back of the defence. Um, as you said, didn't quite have the support with him in, in the end of uh, his shot. Comfortable for Mitch Walker, but as you say, bright stuff from the bees. Here's Candy. Manages to skip round Vaughan, gets a low cross in. And it's almost flicked home by Reese. But now Efron Mason Clark can come away with it close to the tunnel on that far side. He's trying to get past his first man who has to foul him, does Joel Newblay. Corner kick here for Aldershot, seven minutes on the clock. Edza whips it in, out swinger, volley towards goal, but it's cleared away by Barnett. Now Efron Mason Clark can try and get the ball away, but he just runs into. George Fowler, who's back heel down the line towards Edza, goes out of play for a B's throw-in. It's a crowded penalty area for him to aim at, but he plays it short. Maybe a little bit of a routine here. Looks to have maybe run its course. Cross comes in eventually, though, headed away by Liam Daly. Now Hooper looks to win the ball, and he does, and Skeffington sets away McQueen. McQueen looks to get around his man, Candy. And does and plays it through to JJ Hooper. Can he get a toe onto this before it gets through to Mitch Walker? He can't. But real attacking intent there from the Bees. Yeah, good play by Alex McQueen, and it was a good run by JJ Hooper. Good goalkeeping as well from Mitch Walker. Open affair these last five minutes. Both sides looking dangerous on the counter. Barnett oh, claimed for a foul there on Sam Beard, but shot. Almost caught Eamon Azaz off guard there, outside of the foot, just going wide of that post from Harrison Paniitu. Free kick in a good position to get the ball in. McQueen will deliver. Almost through to Mitch Walker, who clatters into Liam Daly. Skeffington back out to the free kick taker McQueen. His delivery is low. You can see the intent there rather than which was to try and catch the older shot players off guard. Now ball played back in towards Daly. Could drop here for Ephraim Mason Clark. First time volley. Excellent save from Mitch Walker. Drops to JJ Hooper, but his shot cannons into the side netting. Again, Mitch Walker. What a save. What a fine save from the older shot number one. Fantastic save. And Ephraim Mason Clark did really well to get onto the loose ball and sw uh, swivel. Well, well, swiveled on straight first time strike. And. Walker gets down well to make a fantastic save and JJ's effort obviously crashes against side netting but just from this angle here we'll see how good it was. Through a crowd of bodies as well. It's a fantastic stop. Neat little flick from Harry Taylor. Looks to set away JJ Hooper but here's another chance for Efron Mason Clark to run at the older shot defence. Jinx back. And a look to switch it over here for Lee Vaughan. That's an excellent ball if Vaughan can bring it under control, and he does well with his chest. 
crosses in. Good delivery. JJ Hooper heads home. And the Bees take the lead here at the Hive. It's JJ Hooper with his eighth goal of the season. And what a wonderful move that was from the Bees from the midfield out wide. Good delivery and a perfect header to put Barnet in front. I'm absolutely delighted for JJ Varon because he was really beating himself up about missing that one-on-one. -on -one. I had a chat with him Monday. He really felt he should have scored. And the boys have a real patient build-up. Get it out wide to Lee Vaughan. It's a fantastic delivery and Hooper rises at the right time and it's a fantastic header. Mitch Walker, no chance this time. And I think on the balance of play, Aaron, I think the Bees probably deserve that. They've worked hard to get their lead. It, it would be a shame to see them throw it away. It's another good delivery. Eamon Azaz under pressure. And he's spilled it into his own goal. So it will go down as an Eamon Azaz own goal here. Barnet players are appealing, but referee is going to stand firm. And just as we were saying, Barnet needs to concentrate. A cruel bit of luck there for Eamon Azaz. Absolutely, another chance from a set piece here. Two arms raised from McQueen. Clipped in towards the Barnet man. That Barnet man was about Preston, but his header doesn't trouble Mitch Walker. It will just be another goal kick. Ball comes in. It's headed away by McQueen. More up than out, though, and it's going to drop here for Josh Reese. And now a wonderful opportunity, but referee is going to give a corner kick. I thought for a second he was going to... Point to the penalty spot here, Sam Beard. Who plays, skips into the penalty area. Does Ephraim Mason Clark just slips as he looks to get his shot away? Lee Vaughan can't quite keep it in play, though. Could drop here for Alexander McQueen, but his uh, first time effort certainly doesn't trouble Mitch Walker. No, always rising. It was gonna, that would have been a close call for goal this season if he found a top corner with a lashing volley like that. Free kick here. Edza plays it low and Harry Taylor was alert to that one. There will be a corner kick to follow. Yeah, good play from Harry Taylor. I think he always knew that there was a possibility that they were going to try and sneak it low at the near post. Absolutely. But the danger certainly not averted now. Crosses in, headed away by Taylor, and it almost... The downward header from Harry Taylor strikes a Barnet man and almost sneaks in at that bottom corner. Could have gone anywhere. Has gone out of play for another older shot corner kick. Oh, Sam Beard with the ball in his arms. 68 minutes on the clock. Barnet's one, older shot one. This game finally balanced. Sam Beard opts to play it all the way back to Liam Daly. Actually does well to dig out a ball through towards JJ Hooper. Sendles White gets caught in two minds. Eventually just knocks it out of play for a throw in. Taken quickly to the feet of Mason Clark. And he is brought down there and that is going to be a B's penalty as Efron Mason Clark is fouled. Referee had no hesitation there. And that's the danger that Efron Mason Clark can provide when he gets into those kind of positions with defenders backpedaling. More often than not, we see that kind of challenge made. And it's George Fowler, the guilty party, doesn't get near the ball, brings down the man, and it'll be a chance for the Bees to extend their lead. And it's going to be Efron Mason Clark to step up. It's a penalty all day long. And from Mason Clark, clearly the chosen penalty taker. I can recall JJ Hooper missed his last one. So Mason Clark is a man to step up. A 
One goal for EMC so far this season. Can he double his tally and give the Bees the lead from the spot? It's a short run up. Takes it and coolly slots it into that bottom corner. What an excellent penalty from the young man. His second goal of the season and the Bees retake their lead. Getting uh, delighted for Efron Mason Clark. We've been labelled as uh, the Efron Mason Clark fan club at times, so I'm naturally delighted for Efron. Won the penalty with a great bit of skill. It was a nailed on pen, steps up, coolly slots it away, and the Bees retake the lead. Take another look, look at it. It's certainly learned a lot from his former teammates. That's very Simeon Akinola esque, it's very John Akinde esque, the short run up. Let the keeper make his move first and put it the other way. Barnet two, older shot one here at the Hive. Here's Nuble now. Bessemer brings the ball down well. Fizzes across in towards Fowler. Eamon Azaz will take his time just to pick that one up. Here's a chance though. Ricky Miller is slipped through. Liam Daly is alert to it though. Good defending from the B skipper. Saw the danger, got across, got it away. Here are those changes. JJ Hooper makes way for Tommy Adeloy. going to be Ben Richards Everton the second man on for Harry Taylor and Eamon Azaz is surrounded by bodies in both amber and red clipped in headed away by Daly Skeffington can't quite get clear going to drop here for Reese. but it's straight down the throat of Azaz he does really well to claim yeah good goalkeeping from Eamon Azaz you've just uh you just had your heart in your mouth as the ball dropped on the edge of the box there. Ricky Miller just pokes it in to the goal, but that one won't stand. There is a, he's not, not, not afraid to, to give it back to Ricky Miller. A little exchange of words between the two. Very confident young 19 year old. Here is that chance again. There's Aldershot's top goal scorer with a good volley. A few yards with the take. Up towards Betamat. Now here's Nuble. Tied to the byline. On that far side. Has Ogie in a crossing position. Cleared by Kefalas, but there's no one forward apart from Ben Richards Everton. And there could be a chance here if he gets his toe onto it. He does. It's up in the air. Can. Adeloy bring this under control. He's going to be quickly hassled by a couple of older shot men. Has plenty of orange or amber bodies. Adeloy, chance here to wrap it up. Adeloy yes. does. Get in. Tommy Adeloy is first for the Bees. The man off the bench has secured all three points for the Bees in the final minute of stoppage time here. And it is a deserved three points for the Bees this afternoon. I'm absolutely delighted for Simon Bassey because, do you know what? On the balance of the last week, the Bees certainly deserved the taste of, of victory. And well played, Tommy Adloy. He sent two of the order shop uh, defenders off for a hot dog, I think the saying is. I think he sent me you, for off for a yeah. hot dog on comms as well. <laughs> you just thought he might play it right. Slots it home so calmly, and that will be that. A very much warranted three points for the Bees. I want to say the Bees score three for the first time since Leiston in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. I think it's been a, a very much a warranted three points to the Bees because, you know what, 
all the shot whilst I had a lot of the ball at the start of the second half. Eamon hasn't really made a save all afternoon, but it did what they had to do defensively, took their chances when they came, and I'm absolutely thrilled for the Bees fans, for the Bees players, and for Simon Bassey and uh, Dave Anderson this afternoon, because it's a richly deserved three points in the glorious high of sunshine.